They may be campaigning side by side, but they're not exactly the best of friends. Naoto Kan, Japan's current prime minister, is being challenged by Ichiro Ozawa, the man who last year masterminded the Democratic Party of Japan's victory over their conservative opponents. Hampered by a fragile economy, Naoto Kan is clear that the labor market is crucial to recovery hopes. In my opinion, there are three key points to the rebound of the Japanese economy. Those are first, jobs, second, jobs, and third, jobs. Ichiro Ozawa promises more money to help families and boost the economy, even if Japan's debt is already the highest in the industrialized world. His favorite target? Bureaucrats, who, he says, are still running the country. It's been decided to cut the budget by 10 percent. These are methods inherited from the conservatives. Things haven't changed. The bureaucrats still decide. Ichiro Ozawa's leadership takeover bid is seen as revenge by the party heavyweight. Enmeshed in corruption scandals, he was forced out as general secretary of the DPJ a few months ago by Nayatu Khan himself. Zawa's bid is being backed by many members of parliament, but opinion polls suggest that he's much less popular than Khan among the public at large. Zawa, according to many media sources, is seen as certainly a powerful politician, but perhaps more powerful uh, in getting into power rather than staying in power and, and formulating policies that will allow Japan to grow. Yet again, Japan could be getting a new leader. In the past four years alone, the country has had five prime ministers.